Yo, what's up? Circus Score here, and today we are going to be checking out the new DLSS 4.5, also known as the Transformer Model Second Generation. Now, this was an announcement at CES. NVIDIA announced the DLSS 4.5 model, and they also announced that they will be rolling out a new 6X dynamic multi-frame generation for the 50 series cards. Now, the dynamic multi-frame generation is not yet available. That will be available in spring. And as of January 5th, 2026, the DLSS 4.5 model is available to use as an override within the NVIDIA app. Now, there's also another method to forcing DLSS 4.5 through a program called NVIDIA Profile Inspector, which I will be doing another video on in the future. But for today, we're just gonna be checking out the official NVIDIA app. Now, this is technically available as of the 5th, like I said earlier. However, you will need the beta version of the NVIDIA app, and that is pretty simple to upgrade to. So in order to get this new DLSS Transformer 2.0 model, what we're gonna have to do is go to our NVIDIA app here. And if you don't have the NVIDIA app installed, you will have to install it to get these overrides working. We're gonna go to settings, in the NVIDIA app and then go to about and you're gonna have to check this box here. I have already checked it. But if you check this box, it's essentially saying you're opting in to beta and experimental features. So the beta access of the app. Now in order to get this to kick in, I did find that I, I had to close the NVIDIA app and then I wasn't able to just relaunch it. I had to pull up my task manager and go and find the NVIDIA app here. And then I ended up just force closing it and task. And then that was able to kick it into the point where it was able to find that update. Once we reload the app, it'll go through the whole install process and make sure you're on the beta release, which I'm already on here. And the next thing you'll wanna do is go to your drivers tab and make sure you have the latest 591.74 driver that was also released January 5th, 2026. So right now I already have that installed as well, so I'm ready to go. And there are a few additional games that they added to their compatibility list. So if I go back to my web browser here, I got a few tabs open. This is just the tab of the announcement here. And then this tab here I have set up is their full compatibility list for all of the override features. Now, as of making this guide, this has not been fully updated. Like I noticed, if I go to this Reddit link here, that this is the full update of the 11.06 beta release. And one of the new games that we will actually be testing today is Pow World. They just added Pow World to the official NVIDIA app. And the thing that I wanted to note here is this kind of goes through, it gives you a table of contents and kind of tells you what different options you can change within the NVIDIA app. So essentially if it has this NV denotation, it tells you that you can override the settings in the NVIDIA app. And here's the DLSS super resolution column. And like I said, this has not yet been updated because I go ahead and search POW world here. You can see that it's just saying that it has in-game compatibility, but there's no override. So there are still some things that they need to update, but if we go back to this Reddit post, and I'll put all these links in the description below so you guys can see everything for yourself. But if we go back to this Reddit post, there are a number of games that they added, 77 total DLSS games for DLSS 4.5 override support. So going back to the NVIDIA app, let's just go ahead and test out PAL World. And I'm actually gonna run PAL World first without any of these overrides in place just to see what kind of performance we're getting. And this is also really nice because now this new transformer model has improved the upscaling so much that we can actually now even run like the ultra performance mode, which we will be testing out later and get just insane performance and almost the same graphical look as DLSS 4.0 on like performance or even balanced. So let's start this game here. All right, so we're in game here kind of at the top of this hill. And if I go into my settings here, this does have 
DLSS support in game. So if we go down here, you can see right now I have DLSS set to balanced. And right now this is just using the standard DLSS. I don't even think this uses DLSS 4. I think this is still using DLSS 3. So we should see quite a large performance leap in terms of visual fidelity with this new override model. So if we look at our frame right here, and I'm actually gonna enable the NVIDIA uh, overlay as well here. Go ahead and turn that on. But I have my nice overlay over here also, and we're showing about 177 FPS. And uh, my system is a 5090 with a 9800X3D, so it's no slouch of a system, but it's still gonna improve, and I can almost even get close to my monitor's refresh rate once I enable some of these settings here. So as you can see, this looks pretty good. I mean, it's not too bad. It's uh, definitely DLSS 3. So let's go ahead and exit the game and change some of these override settings here. All right, so back in the NVIDIA app, what we can do is right here, it says the DLSS override model presets. We can go in here, go to custom, and you can change the frame generation type to the more uh, efficient version. I'm not gonna be messing with this today. We are just gonna be focusing on DLSS 4.5, and there are two different models. So there's latest, but then you don't really know what model you're using. So I recommend just setting the actual preset model. And the two preset models for 4.5 are preset L and preset M. Now L has a little sharper, like a little marginally better look and little worse performance as well. And M is closer to the performance of DLSS 4. But like I said, it's marginally worse when it comes to some of the upscaling techniques. However, my eyes, I really couldn't tell a difference. So I'm just gonna stick with preset M because I thought it still looked just as good as preset L, but you guys can try each one for yourself and let me know down below in the comments, you know, which one you prefer. For me, I like to use preset M. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply here. And you can see here that it's showing that we have changed the super resolution preset to M. And one other thing I forgot to mention is if I hit alt Z and I go to this like overlay and I go to statistics, I actually have a custom NVIDIA overlay set up. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can set up custom overlays to see your frame rate and all of your performance metrics. And in my case, I just set up some basic ones that I think are helpful. And then I also have down here at the very bottom so we can see if super resolution override is actually active and also the super resolution override mode, which we will be checking out a little later here. So right now it says we are using preset M, and then the other shortcut is you can hit Alt R and turn on that overlay. So I have both these overlays going on so we can see all the metrics. Let's go back into game. So as you can see at the top, and it takes a little while to kick in, there it goes, but it says the SR OVR, so super resolution override is set to preset M. And then the other one that says off, like I said, that is the preset mode. We have not messed with that yet. So right now you can tell, I mean, I can tell that this looks way better than the DLSS 3.0. It's kind of hard to show in YouTube because obviously YouTube's compression algorithm kind of messes with some of the video but let's just kind of run around here and I'll show you guys some tricks in order to give it even more performance because with this new upgrade, we can actually go into our settings here and this is set currently to balanced, but we can set it to a performance mode. And one thing I did notice, this is where this other override is gonna come in handy later, is there is no ultra performance mode in the game settings. So you can only do performance mode in the game settings for DLSS. And if we go ahead and hit apply, it said a restart's required, but it does not actually need a restart. So let's use one of our mounts here. Yeah. 
Oops. I think I just threw a pal ball at it or whatever they call it. Pal spear. Alright, so here we go. And yeah, I mean, performance is pretty good. It is a little lower, but we're getting about... Actually, it's, I think it's a little higher, and we're getting about the same visual fidelity because we were on DLSS 3 with balance, and now we're on DLSS 4.5 with performance, and there is literally no visual difference, and we're actually getting better frame rate. Sorry, I misspoke earlier. So yeah, kind of run around here. About 180 or so. So then the last thing that we can check out, and I'm gonna go back into this NVIDIA app here. I can actually do one more thing. I can change this DLSS override super resolution mode. So as I was saying earlier, there is no ultra performance mode in the game settings for PAL World. So the cool thing here is we can actually enable ultra performance in the NVIDIA app. So we go ahead and hit apply. So now we have preset M with the ultra performance mode. All right, so you can see I'm back in game here. And at the very top, you can see it says SR OVR preset M. And then it says ultra performance at 33% uh, resolution upscaled to, in my case, 4K. And our frame rate is almost hitting my monitor's refresh rate, which is 240 hertz. So we're at about 235 FPS. And there is a little bit of a visual difference, but I would not say it is that huge compared to performance mode. Like, I still think this looks pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and do a quick run around here with our favorite mount. Get over here. And yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much maxing out my uh, monitor's <laughs> refresh rate, which is awesome. So it's pretty much capping me right now at 240, which I mean, I don't think anyone really needs to play a video game past 240 hertz. But yeah, this is just absolutely awesome. I'm getting anywhere from about 220 to 230 FPS with DLSS 4.5 and the ultra performance override set and yeah i mean honestly i don't i'm not very sensitive in terms of like graphical quality when it comes to some of these presets and maybe some of you guys are a little more than me but i still think this looks honestly absolutely awesome so anyway, that'll do it for this video. Like I said, I will be doing a full guide on NVIDIA Profile Inspector in my next video. I'll be doing some more guides, some more PC performance guides. I also do some reviews on like some technical Skyrim mod lists, stuff like that. So if any of that interests you, consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, have a wonderful day.